Cafe folks. Uh, the last video we looked at creating a website using Google Drive and we used primarily the Google Docs feature, the Word documents, the Word processing documents in Google Drive. We created three pages, published each of them to the web with the home page having, um, or the first page, having a link to each of those published pages. Uh, thereby creating a website. This time we're going to create that website only using uh, Google Presentation. So we'll just turn on the screen to get a look at the finished product. Very quick and easy way of generating a website. Um, okay, here we are looking at that first one using Google Documents that's embedded into, in this instance it's embedded in Blackboard, it could be embedded in any website. So it's a simple document with a link to three other documents in here. Now below here is uh, a same version but only using Google Presentation. And there's the links and they're just anchoring to different slides in the presentation. So a quick look on how that's done. So here's the presentation file. I've simply created the first page with its title and byline, menu item, and some text with an embedded video. You can embed YouTube videos. If you're working inside RMIT, then you share the document out to a to your consumer account in Google, add the video from YouTube, and then come back into your RMIT account to keep editing. That's how you add, do add-ons and the like. Okay, so each page just has slightly different content. You'll notice that I've simply turned off the link on the page that I'm on. So I'm on page one, so therefore the menu item for page one has no link. Likewise, two and three. If we look at the page, when you want to create a link, you highlight the text and click link, and it'll pop up slightly different to this. You'll have an option to put a URL in there. Actually, if I turn this off, this is what it looks like. You can put a URL in there or go slides in this presentation and in this case it's page two therefore slide three because one's being home. Don't apply that. And the last step you do, so that's that's creating the links between different slides, is you file publish to the web and there's the link for the finished website look and I'll just show you what that looks like. That's it outside of Blackboard, that's not embedded, that's just a website in its own right. And the one thing actually I'm not so sure about is how it presents looking on a mobile. So it scales to a point. So it's not gonna go much further. So this is only gonna work in landscape view. You might keep that in mind when you're creating your, power, your um, Google presentation uh, about the presentation on a mobile screen. It doesn't not do it, it just doesn't do it so well. Okay, where were we? Back to back to the publish to the web. I'll just do that again. File, publish to the web. And in your instance of the first time around, you just have this start publishing now. I've got stop publishing as an option there. And I've got the link that I just showed you there. Copy, email it to people when they're looking at the site or the embed code. Now that, that embed code works the same way as um, it does in uh, for for YouTube when you're embedding that in and stuff. So you change the sizing there and starts sec, um, start defaults that I've got currently switched off. Okay, so with that code there copied, then I go to my Blackboard site. I'll just exit preview mode. Go to Blackboard, and I'm in the edit box here and I want to hit the HTML. Okay, that there, there are two embedded sites, remember, the first one is the top one there, the second one is, if I was to paste what I copied just straight over the top of that, that'll work. Okay, and then when it's done like that, you go to preview that as a student. Okay, there's the first embedded site and there's the embedded slide as a website. All right, nothing fancy, but the good thing about this from my point of view and hopefully yours is that now you can focus on just keeping the slide presentation up to date on Google Drive. You make an edit on Google Drive and in two minutes or less, 
that edit is reflected on the embedded slides here in Blackboard and wherever else you've got embedded. So you might have the same slide presentation uh, embedded in numerous Blackboard sites or websites, but you just want to update one and all of those sites will be updated accordingly. So there's one big plus. Okay, that's enough on that. Um, hope you get ideas from that and uh, let me know if you start using it in, in your work. I'd love to see it. Okay, see ya.